Santa Monica Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Group Shoulder Institute presents Arthroscopic Suprascapular Nerve Release Presented by Thomas P. Knapp, M.D. Reviewing the anatomy of the suprascapular notch helps our understanding of how a suprascapular nerve release should be performed. The suprascapular artery is a branch of the thyrocervical trunk and importantly enters the fossa over the transverse scapular ligament. The suprascapular nerve is made up of branches from the C5 and C6 nerve roots, but formally originates from the brachial plexus superior trunk. It enters the notch under the ligament. Fat atrophy is easily graded on sagittal MRI images and correlates with what is visualized arthroscopically. Surgery can be performed either in the beach chair or lateral decubitus position. The release employs a standard anterior working portal. A mid-lateral portal is utilized for visualization. The release is performed through a small stab wound divisor portal. The release begins by following the CA ligament to its attachment on the coracoid using a motorized shaver. The coracoid is then followed medially. The next structure encountered is the trapezoid ligament of the coracoclavicular ligaments. The supraspinatus muscle belly is adjacent posteriorly. Between the trapezoid ligament and the supraspinatus muscle, there is a consistent fascial band that must be pierced to allow entrance medially where the neurovascular structures are encountered. Proceed carefully in this area as frequently a plexus of minute veins is encountered. An 18 gauge spinal needle is used to localize the proper interval for the placement of the exploration release instrument. The proper orientation for the needle is to aim anterior and lateral to the visor portal starting position. A small skin stab wound allows passage of the atraumatic soft tissue liberator. This was developed by Laurent Lafosse of France. It is slightly smaller than a standard arthroscopic switching stick and therefore allows atraumatic passage into the suprascapular notch. The ASTL tip allows gentle probing and the scissor function allows cutting of the ligament without damage to the neurovascular structures. This is an example of the proper setup of a right shoulder where the arthroscope is in the mid-lateral viewing portal and the ASTL entering through the visor portal. This anatomy model shows the relationship of the trapezoid ligament on the right, the coronoid ligament on the left, and the suprascapular notch. Anatomy can vary, but in general the ASTL initially is aimed anterior and lateral. The tip is then gently run medially along the scapular body until the suprascapular notch is encountered. The ASTL then easily enters the notch. Here is typical anatomy that is encountered. The transverse scapular ligament is seen with the ASTL in the notch. The suprascapular nerve and artery are protected medially. Note how the coenoid ligament transitions seamlessly into the TSL. This is very reproducible anatomy. Here the TSL is clearly seen. Entering beneath the ligament is the suprascapular nerve. The ASTL easily passes into the notch protecting the nerve and artery medially. The scissor transects the ligament freeing the nerve from further compression. If bleeding is encountered, a bipolar cautery is introduced through the anterior portal to control it while retracting the neurovascular structures medially. A motorized curve shaver is used to remove the stump of the remaining ligament to prevent excess scar tissue. Rehab protocols are available at smogshoulder.com.